Welcome back to the BS Bourbon Channel. Today we're going to be trying some Nash Tucky, eight year Kentucky whiskey. Now, Nash Tucky, what is Nash Tucky? So it's Nashville and Kentucky. They mushed the names together. Now, this is from the same people that own Nashville Barrel Company. And Nashville Barrel Company kind of made their name doing MGP sourced whiskey. Now, this is the first release from them that I've had. This is a Kentucky straight bourbon, eight years, aged and bottled in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, they're claiming on the back that it was still in Kentucky, but aged in Kentucky and Tennessee. I don't know how much time it was spent in Kentucky, how much compared to Tennessee, but I would suspect it spent longer in Kentucky than it did in Tennessee. Now, there is a rumor that this is beam juice um, from multiple sources. I'm getting this rumor. So, interesting, right? 122.52 proof. And uh, this is a single barrel through Inlet Harbor Liquors. And uh, yeah, so this is barrel number Kentucky 2797. Because these are going to be popping up all over the country. Store picks. There's, um, there's going to be one in Lauderdale down here by me. There's this one in West Palm, and then or Palm Beach, and then there's gonna be one in Orlando. I'm not sure if there's gonna be more in Florida, but these are gonna start popping up across the country as single barrels. So I'm gonna drink it out of my Nashville Barrel Company Glen, since it's the same people doing it, and let's go. Now I clearly am out of the shoulder on this. I want to give it a good, you know what I'm saying, and. What has been told to me by multiple people who have now tried it, blind, without knowing details, they have said that it smells and tastes like Booker's. Now, I happen to agree. It's very close. If it's not the exact mash bill of Booker's, it's very close to it. Because it hits like Booker's. Dark, rich, molasses, burnt brown sugar, lots of oak. Just big, nutty, and ridiculous. Let's taste. Oh yeah, it hits like Booker's. It's, it's just beautiful. If you like Booker's, you're gonna like this. It, it's great. It's great. Now, price point is a little higher than a Booker's. So the selling feature on this is that it's a single barrel. Yours is gonna taste different than mine. And um, and so there's rarity there. So I'm guessing that's the, the true selling feature on this. And also, if you love Booker's, Booker's is getting hard to get your hands on. It, I, I, haven't, I don't even remember the last time I've seen one in a store. And this is available. So, there you go. Oh. The nuttiness, the peanut butter mouth filling chew. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It's really good. Good job, Nash Tucky. Thank you, Inlet Harbor Liquors, for bringing this in. So nice. And that's cool. I mean, it. it it's interesting. It's awesome. I like that Nashville Barrel Company is branching out past MGP because there's just so much MGP available everywhere. So it's nice to have some some sourced Kentucky stuff showing up, I guess. If that's what your business model is and you're sourcing, heck yeah. Diversify away from just MGP. I'm about it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.